somebody's mom or that's somebody's grandma or that's somebody that was somebody's daughter that's that's a human being who some you know something happened in their lives that was often beyond their control and they're not starting from the same place that we're starting from if we don't engage the community i think we won't be able to find a solution I challenged the mayor's office a few months ago, maybe got in a little bit of trouble, uh, w when they made this audacious claim that they were going to end chronic homelessness by 2000, the end of 2016. <laughs> but what, what are you actually saying? What are you going to end? What, with who? And how are you going to do that? And where are these 60,000 the units of housing going to be? Wade Trimmer was referring to the claim made by Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti when he took office in 2013. His sales pitch was simple. In 1906, the San Francisco earthquake, which left over 200,000 people homeless, was addressed with an urgent need to rebuild the city and rapidly construct temporary housing for the victims of California's greatest natural disaster. They did it in a matter of years. Why can't we do the same thing for Los Angeles now? This is the wealthiest country in the world. Why can't we fix this? That's a question of our times that has so many frustrated and confused why does the richest country in the world have such a high homeless population in its largest cities? It's a lot more complicated than people want it to be. But before we address that issue, let's try and get an idea of the wealth, size, and struggles of nations in general, and look at one of the most complicated systems on the planet. India. <laughs> 